Hello there, welcome to my channel. My name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen video. Last week I posted a review of my new Leonardo Momento Magico and one of the Inquiring Minds channel members, who shall remain nameless, but his initials are Archivist17, really wants me to insert this cutaway. <laughs> I apologize to the non-sweater vest wearing majority out there. Yes, Perry Como is still alive. And now to the point of this video. With the Magico, I purchased an extra Leonardo elastic steel nib. People wanted to see how this nib performed, and I wanted to compare it to Jack's Mont Blanc 149 calligraphy. So let's take a look at it right now. I purchased an extra nib uh, with the Magico. I wanted to show you how it writes as well as compare it with Jack Hernandez's beautiful Mont Blanc 149 calligraphy, Curse of Italic, as well as a few others here I'll get to in a magic moment. Barry Como still alive this Friday night at the Civic Arena. Kiss today. Goodbye. Sorry about that. But first, a rant from yours truly. Friends, don't be duped by the hype about a particular pen that will have you writing like John Hancock. I'll sign first. Yours. John Hancock. Okay, who's next? Hey, come on, John. You took up practically the whole page. <laughs> because it's not true. Buying an expensive flex fountain pen like this Mont Blanc 149 calligraphy won't improve your writing any more than buying a $2,500 Jeff Beck signature Fender Stratocaster will make you play like Jeff Beck. Yeah. Nope, a writing instrument is just like a musical instrument. You have to know how to use it. You can't just blow in one end and run your fingers up and down the outside. How to play the flute? Well, here we are. Um, you blow there and you move your fingers up and down here. It takes practice. Calligraphy is an art. Like drawing is, well, an art. Now, I'm not saying you can't do it. Everyone can do it. It just takes training and practice. And this is my feeling about flex nibs. If you have to work at flexing the nib to get your line variation, for me, it defeats the purpose of writing with a fountain pen. You see, my writing totally sucks when I have to press on the page. That's why I detest writing with a ballpoint pen. I find, and again, this is just for me, I find that my handwriting vastly improves the less I have to press and the more relaxed my hand and arm are while I'm writing. If the pen is comfortable in my hand, my arm is relaxed, and if the nib glides across the page with just a touch of drag for stability, my handwriting can actually be read by myself and even others. So I prefer nibs that will give me line character. Not calligraphy, mind you, line character with the least amount of effort. That means normal pressure. Most of the flex nibs I've tried have required me to dig into the page to the point that I tear up the paper and end up with a holy page. Not much good for anything but scripture, I guess. There are nibs that give you character without any effort at all, and those are generally stubs and architects. Look at this smooth as glass nib from italics. This is a stub-like curse of italic, and I'm going to write with it here in my Jinhao 100. This is italics. Cursive, italic, and look at that line character. No pressure whatsoever. Okay, that's just gliding on the page. Like I don't even have to hold the pen. It gives you line character. And then your writing 
get some instant flair. I love it. Easy. And if you're a calligrapher, most of these nibs we'll look at here will be functional for you because you already know how to do it. And if you already know how to do it, then you already have some preferences for nibs that will float your Spencerian boat. But what I'd like to do is see how well this Leonardo Steel Elastic nib performs for the ordinary person who writes ordinary cursive. Remember, John Hancock and his colleagues all use quills. Let's look at this Leonardo Steel Elastic nib. I put it in my new Leonardo Memento Magico. The elastic nib is one of four different elastic nibs available from Leonardo. This one is a fine steel elastic and there is a steel extra fine and a 14 karat gold in extra fine and fine. And let's talk about gold versus steel here for a moment. I've mentioned this before in my videos. Gold doesn't necessarily guarantee a flexible writing experience or even a little bounce. My Platinum President 18 karat gold nib is as stiff as steel. It's the shape and construction of the nib itself that determines the flexibility of a nib. And we can see that here on this Leonardo elastic nib with the cutouts on the shoulders of the nib. This allows the tines of the nib to flex and move. The cutouts reduce the stiffness of the nib's natural arch in both directions, laterally that way and longitudinally along the long axis of the nib. And write that down, there will be a test. There's also something called a liquor store. So this is the Leonardo Magico with the fine elastic steel nib. So first off, this is an extremely wet nib. But what we're interested in is the lines it makes. So in regular lines it's about 0 0.5 millimeters. This is no pressure whatsoever. But then when we put some pressure on it we can see that it flexes out fairly broad. And when you get a nib flexing broad like that the feed needs to keep up. You see it's putting a lot of ink on the page here. So no pressure, some pressure. So lots of line variation. And this thick line here is about one millimeter in thickness. But the point is you have to put some pressure on it to make it flex like that. That's no pressure. So when you're writing, if you want to make your writing like calligraphy, it takes a good amount of pressure. I've written in normal cursive with this nib for a while and I found that it does not add any character to my normal writing. To make it flex, you must add the pressure. I found, however, that the nib is very, very wet and tends to give my writing a blobby kind of character, which isn't very pretty, in my opinion. Disgusting blob. Now let's see the Mont Blanc calligraphy. This is an 18 karat gold nib, and it's basically a cursive italic. that flexes. So this is no pressure. You see how you get line variation out of it because it's thin horizontally and thick vertically. But when you flex it, look at that line you get. It's like a paintbrush. This is for sign painting.
and it's extremely wet so very much like a paintbrush but it's so soft that with normal writing it actually flexes a bit and this 18 karat gold cursive italic flex nib was designed and ground by Fritz Schimpf in a collaboration with Mont Blanc. It's a limited edition to limited to 80 pens, so don't go looking for this one because you won't find one. It is the ultimate in effortless line character. No pressure at all, and not only does the stub-like nib give the thin horizontals and thick verticals you'd expect, but with ordinary pressure, the nib bounces and flexes to give extra character to your writing. But you don't have to spend this kind of coin to get that flex character. Let's look at some less expensive alternatives. Of course, right off the bat, there is this italics nib from Mr. Pen. Uh, you can still buy these, I believe, uh, at uh, mrpen.com. I love this one. I absolutely love it. I have it in my Jinhao 100, and it's my go-to pen for when I want to sign a card and give it a little bit of flourish. The best of the non-flex flexible nibs in my collection is this Pilot Falcon. I say non-flex flexible nib because it isn't intended to be a flex nib for flexible writing. But this unique falcon-like claw of a nib in 14 karat gold is very bouncy indeed and gives your writing some added flair without the need to dig into the page. And here is the Pilot Falcon. And it has a SF nib, which I believe stands for soft fine. And it is 14 karat gold. That's no pressure at all, just normal writing pressure. You can see I'm already getting line variation out of it. But when you push it a little bit, you get even more. Again, not a flex nib, not advertised as a flex nib, but. handwriting isn't terrific but that's fairly fast not pushing the pen a lot and I'm already getting some fairly nice character out of it without any effort and I have a few others that are not as successful as the pilot Falcon here is the Lorelei 667 with a steel flex nib uh, you'll also see this pen advertised as the blue do flex I've tried the blue do too and it made my writing look like blue doo doo doo. What's doo doo? Let's look at this. This is the Lorelei 667. And that is no pressure at all. But when you flex it, you see it bends. And in slow motion, that looks absolutely graceful and beautiful. But when you try to write, yes, you can get some line variation out of it. But if you're doing downstrokes all day, it's great. If you try to do upstrokes at all, you have to be very, very slow and careful. And a slow, careful upstroke for me ends up looking like my great-grandmother's letters to me. Then there is the poor man's Mont Blanc calligraphy, the Jin Hao 159 with a steel Zebra G comic nib. These nibs are designed for dip pens. That's not pens for dips. That's pens for dipping. But someone had the bright idea to fit one of these to a fountain pen. It's like writing with a sewing machine needle. They're great if all you do is downstrokes, upstrokes, not so much. It takes a bit of work to get them flowing. So this is the Jin Hao. One, five, nine. Forgive the pale ink here. I cleaned out the nib and it still obviously had a little bit of water in it. And this has the zebra or zebra, depending on where you're from. 
G steel nib. This is no pressure. You can see that for normal writing, it's not really terrific. Uh, but if you want to play with calligraphy, it's a really cheap solution. If you want to see a video on how I put this Zebra G uh, nib into this pen, you can look at this link right up here uh, for a video that I did on that. But you can see the line variation is extraordinary, but it's very finicky. You really have to get it flowing and have to go slow with it because the feed just doesn't keep up. It works a lot better when you dip the pen first in the ink. Let's see, then I start getting better flow. You really have to watch your upstrokes that you have a light touch. Or you get skipping like that. Something to play with if you're interested. But if you have to keep dipping the pen all the time, what's the point? And next up we have this lovely little Waterman Taperite. This pen is from the late 40s and early 50s when Waterman created uh, their homage to the Parker 51. It has a 14 karat gold semi-hooded nib and is a lever filler. I've filled it with Waterman Mysterious Blue and let's see how it writes. This has been sitting out for a bit, so it takes a bit to get going. Tape right. 14 karat gold. That's no pressure whatsoever. And a little bit of flex. But with normal writing, That's no pressure, normal writing, and it's giving me all kinds of character. Lovely little pen. So this isn't for calligraphy, it's for normal cursive writing. And with no pressure at all, it gives tons of vintage character to your ordinary writing. I keep this pen inked on my desk for months on end, and it writes first time every time. It takes a little bit of getting going when it's been out for a bit, but you, as you see, it flows beautifully. When I got this as a Christmas present last year, the pen hadn't been inked in decades, but five minutes in an ultrasonic pen flush bath and it writes like a champ. And here is my final comparison for today. This is my Sailor 1911 a large. This is a bit more of an expensive option for a fountain pen that gives your writing character without much effort on your part. This is a 21 karat gold MF nib which I assume stands for medium fine. That would be a Japanese medium to fine as it's more like an extra fine to a fine line for Westerners. But the nib has a good deal of soft bounce to it without any pressure beyond normal writing. So this is the Sailor 1911 large 21 karat gold MF nib. And here is no pressure whatsoever, just normal writing. As you can see, with normal line pressure, you're getting a fine line. But you give it a little bit of a push, and you can get some line character out of it. But that little bit of a push, maybe I'll zoom in on this that little bit of a push right there gives the nib some really nice bounce it's bouncy bouncy do you want to come back to my place bouncy bouncy this is just a beautiful fountain pen and if you keep your eye out, you can get for a reasonable price. I actually got this one on Amazon for $175 US. 
use the add-on for Amazon Camel 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 to add a watch price and it will notify you whenever that price is reached on Amazon that's how I got this one so back to the Leonardo elastic knit it isn't as soft as the word elastic makes it sound for normal no pressure writing I prefer the regular medium steel nib this one is a bit too wet although it does have a little bit of bounce to it but I'm not digging the writing experience for flex writing and calligraphy yes it flexes a lot more than a steel nib does so if you want to try that out it's only 20 bucks why not and it's much smoother than the awful cheap solutions like the zebra G and the blue do my advice is if you want to start learning the art of calligraphy and don't want to spend a lot of money doing it get a single Leonardo elastic nib they're only 20 bucks and they are Yovo standard number six size nibs just pull the nib from the Leonardo collar and put it in your pen that takes a standard number six nib don't mind my fingers I've been doing a little bit of nib swapping here because my advice is if you want to start learning the art of calligraphy and don't want to spend a lot of money doing it get a single Leonardo elastic nib they're only twenty dollars and they're standard Yovo number six size nibs that you can just pull from the Leonardo collar and put in your pen of choice why my fingers are inky because I tried that right now by putting the Leonardo into my Moonman M800 which in fact has a Leonardo stub in it right now and that worked nicely and remember as always your mileage may vary your mileage may vary y m m v and there you have it if you like this video please like and subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted and please look in the description for a link to gold spot pens as i'm now an affiliate of the online store and when you shop at gold spot using my link you'll be supporting my channel as well at no extra charge to you and you can join as a member of my channel too for only 99 cents a month and i guarantee i'll answer your comments in the comment section you'll get cool emojis badges and sneak peek unboxing videos as well and that just leaves it for me to say thank you for And that's all she wrote. I made this.